Welcome to Outside the Bubble, where we at the Launceston Global Shapers Hub help to give you an insight in what else is happening in our community and across our world while we've all been staying at home. I'm Adam, and today I'm with Thomas, curator of the Global Shapers Hub for Beijing 2. Now, Thomas, quickly, can you just explain why you're in the US at the moment rather than being in Beijing? Sure, Adam. Well, thanks for having me on. I am an American, but I've been living and working in Beijing or in China for the past six and a half years. And it's a funny story. I had planned to come back to the US in late January for Chinese New Year holiday. It's about a week and a half. And so I planned to be here. And my original flight back to Beijing was early February, maybe February 4th or February 5th. That was, however, when the coronavirus outbreak started happening in China. And by the time I was supposed to go back, flights were being canceled, lockdowns had started, quarantines had started. I figured probably not a good idea to go back yet. Let me just stay in the US for a little bit longer. And here we are in early June. And how does it feel to be dislocated from the place that you've lived in for so long due to the travel restrictions? How are you coping with that? It's tough. I I definitely miss the comforts of the life that I've built in Beijing, as well as my friends and all the people who I know there in the Shapers community. Our our Shapers hub or chapter is very international. We are about half Chinese and half people from all over the world. And right now our community is spread from California all the way to the Philippines. So people are all over the world. Everyone is displaced. Everyone is uncertain about the future and, and what comes next. But all things considered, I'm here with my parents so things could be worse um and obviously you can't be alone in this how can we help people around us how can we help people like you that are dislocated and and not in their home environments at this time well it's really nice of you to ask i don't know so much for me but i know that some people who truly are alone who don't have family or who don't have friends around them just make sure to to think of them and to, to reach out even people you don't know very well, people who you might not have spoken with for a long time. I think it's just always nice to have that form of social connection, especially for for people who really are alone and haven't been in contact with with friends, family, loved ones in several weeks or months. And while I've got you, you're a curator of a Shapers Hub. You've been in Shaper for a while. What's what? I guess what can Shapers be doing in this time? And 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 how can basically the wider community get behind what Shapers are doing in this time to basically support our communities? Oh, big question. Shapers are quite an ambitious bunch, and so I think sometimes we get anxious about the fact that we're not doing enough. We have a big pandemic going on. There's all these other big issues. We think we need to be the ones building the hospitals and and sourcing PPE and and doing all of these these big important things. There are lots of people all over the world who are doing those important things, and I applaud them and and really encourage them to continue. I also think that there are lots of different ways to make an impact, even if it's something like making sure that people in your community are are feeling cared for or feeling like they they still are important in 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 whatever it is that they're doing and that you're doing and so i think no matter how big no matter how small no matter where you live where you're from what your current lockdown situation is is there's there's always something that you can do to help and that's what i would just encourage shapers but also others to do as well is just find some way to to serve and to give back and as a final question, I'm sure you've been reaching out to people in China. What is life looking like in Beijing at the moment? How is it? Obviously, it's probably different to what we're living in Launceston and you're living in DC. What's life like at the moment? When I speak with people in Beijing, it seems like life is, if not completely back to normal, getting close to, to back to normal. People are going back to work in their offices. People are riding public transportation, going to restaurants, even going out dancing. I'm not sure exactly how close to to normal it is, but considering the state of of most of our other countries that we're in, it seems like they're, they're almost there. 
Excellent. Look, well, thank you so much, Thomas, for joining us today. And look, if you want to find out more about the discussion that we had, take a look at the Examiner newspaper where you can read more. And look, if it's the first time you've joined us, this is part of a larger series as we explore different parts of our community and the globe. So please have a look at the other videos we've uploaded on Facebook and YouTube. If you want to find out more about the Launceston Global Shapers Hub, connect with us online or else find out more about the global community at globalshapers.org. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.